Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux. I'm Pete Treparinas. And I'm Jacob Thorpe. The Huskies are now 1-0 and undefeated in Pac-12 play. They pulled off an unexpected victory against the Stanford Cardinal tonight. The final score was 17-13, and let's take a look at how they pulled off their victory. The game was a defensive battle as both teams refused to let the other gain any field position without a fight. But with 9 minutes and 12 seconds left in the first quarter, Stanford managed a field goal from 31 yards out to put the Cardinal ahead 3-zip. However, the UW defense kept them in the game despite some offensive struggles. Thomas Tatogi had this sack of Stanford's quarterback Josh Nunes for two yards. This was the start of a breakout game for Tatogi, who finished with a team-high 10 tackles. The Washington offense got on the board this next drive when this spectacular 35-yard pass from quarterback Keith Price to Kaysen Williams set up a game-tying 43-yard field goal from kicker Travis Coons. The UW defense continued to keep the Cardinal in check. The Huskies repeatedly stopped Stanford in their tracks, like on this play where Sean Parker and Andrew Hudson combined to take the ball carrier down with just under two minutes left in the first. The Husky offense showed some signs of life on this 14-yard rush from Bishop Sankey, but unfortunately they failed to score in the second quarter. Stanford managed to make this 28-yard field goal before halftime, and the Huskies went into the half down 6-3. Neither team was really able to take control going into the third, and the game remained a defensive battle. The Husky offensive struggle continued into the second half when Keith Price's pass was intercepted by Stanford's Trent Murphy and returned 40 yards for the game's first touchdown with 2.51 left in the third quarter. But the Huskies responded immediately. On their next drive, Williams caught a 6-yard pass from Price, followed by a 10-yarder to bring the Huskies closer to the end zone. And then, in the final seconds of the third quarter, Bishop Sankey found a hole and ran 61 yards on 4th and 1 to cut Stanford's lead to 13-10 as the quarter expired. Once again, the Huskies' defense came through, and with this third down sack by Johnny Timu, the Huskies were able to regain possession with about 9 minutes left to play. Then sophomore Kaysen Williams made it to the end zone with this 32-yard catch and run on third down, putting the Huskies up 17-13. The UW's defense came through one final time as senior cornerback Desmond Trufant put the game away with this fourth down interception with only minutes remaining in the game. All right, and we're back here inside of Century Link. Tonight's game was a little grueling to watch just because of the lack of offensive play. Coach Sark even said, oh, we struggled when asked about the offense. And it's even harder to believe that that was the same Stanford offense that beat USC just a little less than two weeks ago. Jacob, was Stanford's offensive performance tonight the result of a fantastic UW defense, or were they just really off? Well, regardless of how Stanford play, Lauren, you have to give a lot of credit to the Huskies' defense. For the past couple seasons now, Stanford has been the most physical team in the Pac-12, and the Huskies controlled the line of scrimmage tonight, and that's why they won the ball game. Stanford hadn't gone without scoring an offensive touchdown in five seasons, and the Huskies held them to just a pair of field goals today because they dominated the line of scrimmage, they forced Stanford to try and pass the ball through the air, and they were unable to do that, and that's why the Huskies won. Well, one thing that did look good on the UW offense tonight was Bishop Sankey. He's really proving himself to be a key factor for this team. This is the second game in a row that he's rushed for over 100 yards, and he showed us his maturity level tonight when he made that fourth down touchdown at the end of the quarter. Pete, how important is he becoming for the team going forward in Pac-12 play? Well, you said it, Lauren. The maturity levels have been growing with Bishop each game. And without Jesse Callier there, he really is the feature back now. And as he gets more mature, he's also getting more confident. He also has the experience of playing teams like LSU and Stanford. So moving forward, that's going to help the UW, especially in situations when Keith Price can't get things going in the air. In addition to Sankey, there's another thing that helped get Keith Price going tonight. The 12th man was the loudest they've been all season in century length. Jacob, how important were the fans to tonight's win? Well, this was a big test, Lauren, not only for the team, but for the fans. Yes, it was a blackout, and yes, it was the first big conference game of the season, but it's also a Thursday night. It's a long bus ride to get down here, and although the game didn't sell out, the fans acquitted themselves very well. With a young quarterback on the road for the first time, it's really important that the fans get into the game and put a lot of pressure on him, and they did that, and that's a big part of why the Huskies won today. 
Yeah, if you closed your eyes tonight, you almost felt like you were in Husky Stadium. Now, that's going to be a very different atmosphere than what the Huskies are going into next week when they take on the number two ranked Oregon Ducks down in Eugene. Pete, are they ready for this? And if not, what do they need to do to prepare? Well, Autzen's going to be a lot different than CenturyLink was tonight. There's no question about that. So I think the Huskies need to focus on their offensive identity. They're still kind of searching for that. Tonight, Austin Safarian Jenkins only had two catches for 10 yards, and he needs to be an integral part in the offense if they want to have success against a team like Oregon. They're faster than the Huskies are, and if they want to keep up, they're going to have to put points on the board. Definitely, and that's all we have for you tonight on the Husky Highlight Show. But with a big win like the one we had over Stanford this evening, there was a lot of celebrating after the game, as you can probably imagine. So here are some celebration highlights. 